Yes, if you have been watching Netflix recently or playing a video game or... <laughs> okay, let's try it again. On Netflix, there's a show called The Witcher and there's a song from it that has been turning in my head and today you will learn how to play Toss a Coin to Your Witcher on your cello. The original soundtrack version is in F minor, four flats. We start in the lower second position and then half position shifting up to the lower third position and then back to the lower second position we will be using this lower second position a lot please review if you don't know what this is there's a card in the top right of your screen to fourth, back to lower second, then to upper third, fourth. Continuing, lower second again, ending in half position. This for measure 9, 10, 11, and 12 is played in this fourth position with an extension back. So you have your two on the E flat, four, one on the D flat, B flat, two, two, four, one on the D flat, four. All right here, starting again in measure nine. Half position, and then slide up. Let us continue measure 13. It starts in the fifth position, 4 3, sliding back with an expansion to 1 2, and then placing your first finger here on the E flat on the G string, sliding up to sixth position, 2 4, coming back 4 3 1. In measure 16, it's an E flat, then sliding up, staying in this relaxed 1 4 position, have a 1 on this F natural, beginning of fifth. 4 on the D flat, 1, 1, 4, 1, slide, 1, 2, 4. Whichever fits your fancy, as long as you play that 4 sondo on the A flat. From measure 13, 14, 15, and 16 to the first note of 17. <laughs> Then coming back to fourth position for a moment, then do an expansion because it's quick. Sliding up, two, four, two, one, four. Landing that four on the B flat. That all is here in the lower third position with an expansion back and then tenuto. Nice glissando between the E flat and the F. Then the melody. Half position. And then you do this very nice slide back. Four plus four, two, one. Slide up half step, drop and expand it. Four, four plus four, two, one. Slide up the one. Four, two, slide up the one, four. I really like the way that sounds. The 
second time you go to that plane in measure 26, you want to go to the 2 2 slide in 27. So I'm going to go back a little bit to 26. And then when you land that 2, instead of dropping a 4 like you did the first time, slide your second. Because that's the way he sings it. Then here, sixth position. Playing that B flat. The rest of it is very much similar to the beginning. It's just repetitive over and over again. So to give you context, I'm just going to play the whole bit from the beginning to measure 29. <laughs> If you're wondering why I'm teaching you this song in four flats, F minor, it's because this is the original key, the OST, original soundtrack version that you would hear on YouTube and in the Netflix show. And I want to be as authentic as possible, as true to the original source material as I can be. Hence. I arranged this by scratch and I really hope you guys like it. The guitar part, everything is OST. I really had a great blast learning it. I want to give a big thank you to Sonia Belusova and Giona Ostinelli. You know, it's not all the time where classical music, TV shows, books, and video games all come crashing together in one fantastic three minute song. Yes, I have had a blast learning this song. And that's, I guess, the final word I want to leave you with is no matter where your inspiration in this world comes from, if it gets you obsessed with learning something and playing your cello for hours until your fingers go raw, like this song has done for me, then do it. Then go out there and do it. And don't just let anyone tell you, oh, that's not classical material. If you learn this song, not only will you learn a, a, a Skittles, it's just Skittles all over the score right here. There, there are all the positions. There are all the positions. If you can learn this song, then you would be on your way to learning much more difficult songs. There's a lot of shifting, a lot of fun stuff in it. Anyway, I'll stop talking. I just want to share with you this wonderful tune and I hope you enjoy learning it on your cello. Thanks for watching my video today. Here is content that you might find interesting. And of course, if you have shared this and subscribed and liked it and learned something great, and I hope you do stick around and continue to share your own journey of music discovery with us here on the channel with your commentary. Bye-bye now.